Uh, in this video, I want to explain what is the difference between OLTP system and a data warehouse. From data warehouse to OLTP, from OLTP to data warehouse, data is loaded normally uh, once a day uh, or uh, twice a day. So the data will go. Uh, OLTP involves a large number of users getting connected to the system at any point of time. Example could be Amazon.com or Priceline.com. Data warehouse is internal uh, to the company. Uh, it is never exposed to the outside world. So few business users querying the data at any point of time from data warehouse. So OLTP uh, is optimized for transaction processing and data warehouse is optimized for analytical processing. So the kind of uh, queries we are uh, running uh, in transaction processing is basically you want to you're trying to book uh, one ticket in Priceline.com or you, you are trying to book one uh, by trying to buy a book from Amazon.com. So a lot of users are parallelly connected to Amazon.com or Priceline.com, but each of them are uh, interested only in buying a, a book at a time or a uh, buying a ticket at a time. Whereas in uh, data warehouse, very few business users are connected uh, to the data warehouse at any point of time, but they are running co very complex, huge analytical queries like last quarter, what is the sale of a particular product in a particular region. So that involves a lot of aggregation and uh, the query is quite complex and long running. So this is uh, optimized for uh, analytical processing and so OLTP requires real time validation. Uh, that is because we don't have any control over what users are entering when they are filling a form in a website. So they could fill a wrong zip code, they could fill a wrong state and country uh, which is not like a state which is not existing in a country. So we need some real time validation. In data warehouse, we always uh, load the data using ETL code which is in our control. So there is no real time validation. This is standardized data which is loaded. For example, uh, here uh, in, in OLTP, one system can have the country like US, one system can have country like USA, one system can have country like United States of America. Whereas in data warehouse, we can standardize all of that to ISO standard country code which is US. So the ETL code which is uh, moving the data from OLTP to data warehouse is in our control. So we can apply a lot of standardization while moving the data from OLTP to data warehouse. OLTP uses entity relationship data model which is highly normalized, uh, which is uh, suitable for uh, transactional processing. Whereas data warehouse is using dimensional modeling, which is also called star schema or snowflake schema. So, so basically there are some fundamental differences between OLTP and data warehouse. So this video is trying to explain those differences. And uh, here is a summary of what we just talked about. So this is a slide which uh, has all these uh, points. So next we will see what is a dimensional model and what is a star schema.